Welcome back. It's now time for our cooking segment. And Joe Manhart, also known as the Egg Lady, is here this morning, which means we're cooking with eggs. How are you doing today? I'm just great. <laughs> this is perpetrated by a research that I read, which uh -huh. said 30% of the young people in Kirksville. In Kirksville? In Kirksville. Really? Had never boiled an egg. What? Well, actually, it said nationwide, okay. but I figured the okay. Kirksville kids <laughs> were normal. Yeah. So uh, this is an effort to to correct that. Okay. Because the theme of today, as you can focus on, is Eggs 101, cook and eat. Fantastic. All right? So it's so easy to cook an egg. It, it responds very well to being cooked. Mm -hmm. Here is some boiling water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put two eggs in here and Without the shell. Without the shell. This is so easy. Okay. And I'm going to let it sit here for a while. Okay. And at the end of the show, we'll have the perfect antidote for somebody who's feeling owly and out of sorts, doesn't know what, you know, they will bring strength to that person. Okay. So in about three or four minutes, okay. we'll, we'll help those guys. Fantastic. <clears throat> in the meantime, speaking of cooking eggs in water... Mm -hmm. I did these just before the show began. Mm -hmm. With the shell on. Using the new method. This is with the shell on. The new method. I did it last month. Two months ago, mm -hmm. you remember? No, you don't. That's why I came <laughs> again. I knew you wouldn't remember. Okay. And that is, the old way of cooking eggs was to put them in a full pan of water and let them boil for 20 minutes. Right. Okay, or sit for 20 minutes. Right. The new way is to put about one inch of water in a pan. Okay. Put the, uh, let it boil, bring to a boil, put the shell, eggs in the shell uh -huh. on top, put the lid on and let them cook for about 10 minutes. Okay. I did this earlier. Let's see if these eggs are easier to peel than your average egg. Wow. I would say that oh, they wow. are a lot easier to do peel. Do you still recommend, I know that some people put it under cold water after they boil yeah, it? Yeah, they need to cool. Yeah, you cannot get them to do that. Do you I just want to see how, e okay, this really is, I mean, Amazing. it's literally coming off. Yeah, and so if you have deviled eggs or sliced eggs Look at to that. put on a sandwich, just how fantastic. show off completely. They yeah. work even with very fresh eggs. Uh, it's, uh, where has this technique been all <laughs> our <laughs> lives? You have it. to know that. Uh, so this is boiling away. And the reason I'm poking at it mm -hmm. is sometimes these get stuck to the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. These didn't seem to. Now I'm going to make something with fried eggs. Okay. okay. We have about two minutes, so. Oh, we can do it. Uh, you got it? Got it. Okay. okay. Fried eggs. A little skillet. And it's going to be an egg burger. If you, don't, if you want a hamburger but you don't have any... <laughs> ground beef Ham. or anything. <laughs> the egg will ground be just beef, fine. Yeah. Then you make an egg burger. Uh, Riley, would you be so kind as to put on this bun anything that you would like Okay. on a hamburger? All okay. right. I have got... Um, That's a beautiful got, display, yeah. by the way. Yes. I have got this uh, lettuce and relish. mustard and relish and ketchup and onions and ch I'll use the cheese. So... Don't worry. All right. We'll, we'll have, we got one minute after we come back from the break, right? Okay. Yeah. The hamburger will be ready to go. Okay. okay. I need a fresh egg, please. Here you go. Hmm. And naturally, you put a little butter. When you cook Just with look. eggs, do you prefer, are they supposed to be like room temperature or cold, like out of the fridge? They perform better at room temperature. Okay. But most people have them in the fridge. Yeah. If you're making a meringue, room temperature is better. Okay. Uh, a, a lot of baking recipes say, room temperature. you know, don't, mm -hmm. don't have your eggs chilled. Hey, I was usually going to wait. It? No, no, I was going to put the, the onions the eggs. and then oh, everything gotcha. else on top of the yeah. egg. Yeah, gotcha. I want to also point out. Why would you have a hamburger bun that looks like this? Pale. Yeah, when you can toast it. Yeah, when you, you can toast it, it in the skillet. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I did that. Okay, so here is where you put your mustard and your mayonnaise Alrighty. and your stuff like that. I'm going to poke you the yolk poke of this egg because I don't want it 
to be too runny in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's probably just about enough cooking. It'll sit there and I'll put a little salt on it. Or pepper if you have it. Okay. How are you doing? Pretty good. Very oh, good. Whatever you would have onions. had on a hamburger, you put it on here. And I would also have we'll melted have to saute cheese up on some of this, these onions okay. and maybe even those peppers. And, yeah, mm. we may have to sit on that to make it stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what we'll do is we'll continue cooking this and let the cheese melt, and then when we come back, we'll show off the final product, yeah, and then right. of course Riley gets to taste it. Does that sound good? Okay. I'm, I'm kind of hungry myself. Oh, well, then well, you I'll make another one. You can That's have it. Fine. I'll make another one. All right. In the meantime, if you're just joining us, we just made an egg burger courtesy of Joe Manhart, also known as the Egg Lady from the Missouri Egg Council. Uh, this is like a perfect dish for maybe vegetarians out there that don't eat meat but still want a, a burger. You know, <laughs> it, it, if you cook. If you closed your eyes and thought you're eating yeah. a hamburger, it looks yeah, delicious. Yeah, you put yeah, all the absolutely. fixings you would put on a hamburger, except you did a fried egg on there. And I promised a remedy for people who feel kind of owly, yes. whatever that Out of means. It in the morning. And that's you today, right? That's so a bit. these are the eggs that I put in earlier. I just put the eggs in the water uh -huh. without the shell, yeah. and they are perfectly cooked for soft-boiled eggs. For people who are feeling kind of owly, and so I don't care how owly you feel, a little butter and a little salt is good. Now, I told you before many times, this is what my mother gave to me to mm -hmm. make me feel better when I did. Right. A soft so how's, the, how's crunch. the yolk inside? Okay, now it depends on, of course, this is still soft. Look at that. Okay. I mean, I wanted these to be soft. Right. That's, that's what our goal was. Okay. But if I want them to be hard-boiled... So I could make egg salad out of them. Mm -hmm. I just would have left them in longer. Okay. And then so depending on how out, long you cook them. Dumped them out the same mm -hmm. way. Wow. Awesome. So what I we'll do so. is you have a bunch of steps and some tips and all that stuff that we'll post everything on our website at ktv.com. I know. You're I know. my favorite TV host because you go all out. I appreciate this it. Is why I keep in, beyond. This is why I keep uh, inviting her back. And my granddaughter <laughs> is the same name as you. Oh, right. Okay. I have met more girls who, have, who do have my name then. That uh, I had met guys, so it's a family it, name for it him. Is, yes, it's oh. my mom's maiden name, so oh, I'm named after cool. named after her cool. dad. These my young grandpa. women, you got to watch them. They're going to take over the world. <laughs> yes, we are. Name. Yes, we are. Being astronauts. Yes. So, well, thank you so much okay. for coming on. Again, we'll take, we'll post everything on our website at ktvo.com. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you right back here Monday morning at 5:30 a.m.